Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. Today I'm going to show you guys how to connect different devices and through different types of connections for the BenQ Travolo S, the electrostatic Bluetooth speaker. So first off, we're going to go ahead and turn her on. So we're going to hold the power button for about five seconds. All right, so you see she's turning on and she's already discovering for Bluetooth over here. All right, I think it made a connection somewhere. I'm not sure where, but either way. Um, so first off, we're going to go through Bluetooth. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my settings on my Android phone. And I'm going to go to connected devices. I'm going to go to Bluetooth. Okay, it's not showing up there. So I'm going to go ahead and just make sure she's searching. And she is, okay. And now I'm going to click on here, pair new device. All right, we see Travolo S pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. All right, so she's connected. And just to show you guys how it sounds, I'm going to go ahead and open up a video real quick. Let's go to this Bytes for You's Red YouTube site. Hey guys, Iggy back again with this bike. So, with it's not coming from here. Just want you to hear that. Two 16 gig kits of Patriot Viper memory. Okay. So, it's going to be a nice PC, but again, I'm going to. Okay, go coming from there. Step by step so you guys can now, learn. I'm going to go ahead and enable mode, here, which is for 3D sound. Below. Please remember to click like and subscribe to us. That way, we can keep bringing you the okay, biggest gives and it. the best builds reviews and all good stuff gives it better audio once i'm done with the build okay and I'm, oops and then i'm going to raise the volume here on dragonblogger.com and well you guys can see it there but anyway let's get started with the build i'm going to start by installing the cpu the intel core i7 7700k processor all right and i'm just going to lower the volume so now i'm going to go ahead and turn that off real quick and I'm going to go back over here to settings and I'm just going to go ahead, whoops, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to disable that Bluetooth connection. Okay. Disconnected. And let's go, whoops. Disconnected. And let's go ahead and forget it real quick. Yep. Forget device. Okay. So now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to enable NFC. NFC, near field communication, in case you don't know, uh, allows you to pair a device by simply swiping the device on there. So you'll swipe your NFC device right over here on that little logo right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, enable that. Now, one thing I do want you to know, I just enabled it first off. Okay, it's enabled. I want you to know that in order for NFC to work correctly, you do need to have Bluetooth enabled. So now all we need to do is swipe the device. So it's going to be right here for this device. Is it right there? I always forget where it is. There we go. You heard a little padoom padoom. And then are you sure you want to pair the Bluetooth device to Volo S? Yes. Now it's pairing. All right. And now it's paired, so we can just close that. We'll go to a different video. Under tap or tap water or something. So real quick and again coming from here. You don't need to let it dry. So the feet are a little bit dirty too. Sorry, I chose a really loud video. Okay, so you can see she's playing awesome audio. And I didn't want to infringe on any copyright uh, protection, any kind of like that. Um, I actually made another video where that happened, but aside from that. Okay, so now I've shown you through NFC and through Bluetooth. So I'm going to go ahead, and by the way, 
through Bluetooth is the preferred method and sounds the best. So I've already gone ahead and let's go ahead and just to show you, I'm going to disable Bluetooth and NFC. Did it again. Okay, Bluetooth is disabled, NFC is disabled. All right, they're both gone. So now, the other method, and the method that I really don't recommend, unless you have no other choice, is the 3.5 millimeter connection. The sound is not good from these, but you know, if that's all you have, and you have these speakers, then, well, that's all you have. So on the back here, we have the 3.5 millimeter and the micro USB, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead, show you through 3.5 millimeter, and just pop it in right up here and then we'll go ahead back into another video okay so i'm going to raise it it works but it's not as good i'll enable 3d sound Oh, that was 3D sound. Okay, now to show you. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and switch on over to another connection, micro USB to USB. Okay, for that, for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a laptop. Now this comes in very handy in case you don't like the speakers that your laptop may have. This will not only play amazing music, but it's gonna be great for games as well. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead, connect the micro USB end to the BenQ. Okay, connect it there. And now over here, okay, so now, I'm gonna build it with you guys step by step so you guys can learn. And again, every single piece here is going to be in the description below. Please remember to click like Stereo. and subscribe to us. That way we 3D sound, 3D sound sounds a lot better. Builds reviews and all that good stuff and of course once I'm done with the build and I'm done testing I am going to be putting you know, the review so now to show you that it is actually coming from that I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera a little bit okay and go ahead zoom in down there Playback devices and comes up over here. You can see that right here. Trevolo S default device, and I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that on. And well, you guys can see it there. But anyway, let's get started with the build. I'm going to start by installing the CPU, the Intel Core. All right, so that's about it. I wanted to show you how to connect the Trevolo S sound system. She sounds amazing. I've used this for quite a few different things already. I've cooked, and while I'm cooking, you know, I play music as to not drag myself insane, and it plays amazing through Bluetooth. Now, it also works again through 3.5 millimeter, but I don't really recommend it so much. The audio just doesn't sound as good. It sounds very low as well. Okay, I've also used it, you know, take a shower and listen to it while I'm in the shower. It still sounds great. And I'm trying to think of any other method I've used it for. And again, I've shown you NFC, Bluetooth, USB, and 3.5 millimeter it has a ton of different op options an 18 hour battery life i haven't tested that just yet i'm actually going to test that tomorrow 
and I'm going to put that in the review, uh, in the written review, of course. But anyway, stay tuned, and uh, you'll see the written review, and maybe just a few more videos. So again, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you the different ways to connect the Travolo S electrostatic Bluetooth speakers from our friends at BenQ. Anyway, that's it for now. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.